So this is tutorial two of plot processing. Um, we already created the DTM. That is the exact output of our last step. And we will um, do some further steps to uh, um, extract the good vegetation cloud. So we have computed in four steps our DTM. And now we go to points. Um, Points extract, smooth extraction of a point class parallel to the DTM. Yeah, that's what we want. So we need to take a DTM. This is a uh, MNT raster. Here we have to select our DTM. And then we need an input cloud. And I want my complete scene with the ground points for now. Because, yeah, we will see what I do. I cut out a slice um, from, let's say, uh, 0 0.3 meter above the DTM up to 5, um, five meter. So, yeah, the normalized cloud, uh, we will cut out uh, 30 centimeters more or less above ground up to 5 meters. And then we go to filter, removes noise from the stem slice. So we um, go to stem slice cloud. This is a slice that is correct. And the ground cloud, we can again give uh, ground points. We should go for the denoised ground points. Um, if I want to include the ground points, this is uh, still what we see here on the screen, uh, the white points. It will again uh, uh, compute the rough plane. And then for all points, um, like um, filter out uh, all points. So we fit the plane. The normal goes in this direction and stem points, they have their normal in the horizontal direction, right? So we have from, uh, uh, from the normal of the plane, our point normals need to be more or less perpendicular. So, and perpendicular in a really robust sense means larger than 45 uh, degrees. If I uh, uh, click here, Otherwise, uh, the, uh, they have to have a normal uh, larger with an angle larger 45 to the um, Z axis. It does not matter in this scene, but it w would matter in mountains maybe. So remove noise from the stem slice, slice and then filter Euclidean clustering denoising. No. filter Euclidean clustering denoising so uh, we have the denoised stem slice and um, let's see put a larger cluster threshold to uh, ignore minimal com uh, occlusion and click apply so First, I want to see the result of our last. Um, we cut out a slice above the DTM. I didn't show you yet. Ah, okay, 30 centimeters above the DTM, up to 5 meters. This is what we produced in the last uh, slice. And I removed all of these points. These are branches with this uh, angle threshold step and I keep these points. It has still branches but less branch points and we didn't affect the stems. So we have here a lower density which makes this clustering routine uh, a lot more efficient. So 
I hope I did well. Oh. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So now I just take the largest cluster. This is wrong. So we get need to get here a lot of clusters maybe. So more than we actually want to get. And we want to say this is a little bit dependent of your scene, but each cluster should have more than 1% of the input cloud. Let's see what we get then. Not much. Perfect. Perfect. So, okay. Now, this step, we will repeat what we will uh, cut from 5 meter to, let's say, 100 meter to get the rest of the cloud. I just wanted to prepare uh, the initial stem models uh, better. Uh, it depends. So I'm interested in A, uh, modeling the basis of the tree really good, so my stems. And B, I still want to get a decent crown. So that's why I don't do this procedure on the whole cloud. I will now um, um, extract smooth extraction of a, so our DTM. This step, I take again my vegetation points. And this time I cut out from 4.95, let's say. Double points will be, be removed anyway later to 100. Okay. Oh, this was at the wrong place. I need to put it here. My DTM the uh, vegetation points and I set 4.95 to 100 okay so when we look we have here all of those points we didn't do anything yet with those and the largest clusters and now I just want to merge those two clouds so merging we find under clusterizer the clouds I want to merge is this is the high points the crown and the largest cluster is uh, lower the noise points apply and what we have produced is now a prepared vegetation which should be quite easy to segment okay so I will end this tutorial here